Shalom all, this is Mike and Mandy, uh, Utom, www.utom.org. And just showing some progression that we have been doing from the last videos. We did one on the goats and chickens and everything. And here's one of our garden. We've got it tilled up and ready to go. We, we started planting. Mandy, what have we got planted so far? Um, first row at the front is um, squash, yellow squash. Uh, second row, there's only three cucumber plants in there. I'm going to plant something else on the other side of that. The next row over has um, some Anaheim peppers, some uh, banana peppers, and three um, tomato bushes that we transplanted that aren't looking too hot, but we're hoping they'll come back. And then behind that and that, that fourth row there is um, six habanero peppers. So mm. I'll be making lots of salsa. We love salsa. And uh, I'm going to let her briefly share with you something we're going to try this year. It's called the Three Sister Method. It's called the Three Sister Method of Gardening. It's actually um, a Native American um, method of gardening. And what you do is you plant corn, beans, and squash all in the same row together. And what, what happens is you plant your corn first. When it gets several inches tall, you know, four, five, six inches tall, you plant your beans and your squash. And the, the corn, excuse the turkeys in the background, the corn acts as the... And the baby. And the baby screams. Well, she got a swing for, for a, a present from her grandparents. The corn acts as the, the, the a, a stalk for the um, beans to, to trail up. And um, the squash acts as a ground cover, which retain, helps the ground retain the moisture and also helps to... Um, alleviate some of the weeds that might come up because the you know weeds like sunshine and if there's too much shade on the ground then they won't grow so well so um, it in the traditional Native American way they would put a dead fish they would they would in the ground they would dig a hole put a dead fish a corn a squash and a bean seed and the dead fish would provide the the, the fertilizer the nitri nitrogen and other nutrients needed um, by the plants as they grew so that's the three sister method of gardening. What about uh, last year? I noticed that you also planted some regular plants in between. Oh, uh, there, you, it's called companion gardening. And what you do is you plant things together, like um, marigolds are deterrent to some pests. And um, I'd have to, I, I don't, I can't remember everything offhand, but there are things that complement each other. Some things provide um, more nutrients when they're growing that other plants need and, and some plants protect other plants from pests and and um and disease and stuff like that and it's always a good thing to plant flowers in your garden or around your garden because it attracts bees and bees are um, of course pollinators and without bees your garden won't flourish as well as if um, if you did have bees and i don't know if you can if you can pan back there you can, I don't know if you can see way back there those little white flowers on those bushes way back there. Those are wild berry bushes and so that is for right now helping us as our pollinator. But I am going to plant um, marigolds and other kinds of flowers around the rim of the garden. And we also use those topsy-turvies also too mm -hmm. for some tomatoes. We and also have a lot of container gardening we do. Um, this garden is going to have towards the back of it is going to have several, probably a dozen rows of corn with the beans and the squash mixed in. Um, and we're going to also have melons and you know other beans mixed in and, and um, some other kinds of plants in here. But I also have peppers and tomatoes and herbs that I container garden um, because it, you know for a lot of people that don't have the property like we do, you can put in a, in a big container, um, you can put a couple of plants in, in each container and I have several very large containers that I have two peppers in each one. Well we recommend this. Uh, Mandy went, this is probably the biggest garden we've ever had since we've been married and uh, we, we both felt impressed that this is going to happen because we do feel like there's some strange and hard times coming for this country and we're not talking you know book of revelation stuff according to Christians. We're talking about just basic uh, inflation and things like that that are going to make it very hard for families like ours to go out and just buy what you need. So we uh, increased our garden size, goats and things of that nature. Just in case, if not, we'll definitely eat this stuff anyway. Uh, and so this, we just want to give you a little update up on our garden because I told you we would and, and things that we're doing to help you uh, 
you know, not only create a spiritual community within your home and a shalom home, but also a haven too that help feed people. You know, one of the unique things about you, Tom, is, is and I know uh, our home, uh, we do we do follow more of the uh, teachings of like, you know, uh, Ebionite, maybe more, you know, James and a lot of the, you know, things of that nature. So charity is a big deal. And we want to be a family also. If something happens that we're going to be able to help people uh, feed feed all people, whether they with us or not, but to be an open house as long as you can until people start getting violent and want to take your stuff. There goes Bella across the screen. But uh, so we want to be that. Yeah, there she goes again. So uh, we want, you know, we're trying to do that also to be open to people and to give people that are in need and stuff of that nature also. But uh, that's what we are, and uh, we're in the middle of, well, we only got one more day, according to the counting, of uh, unleavened bread. Of course, the rabbinicals will go an extra day to Tuesday night, but we do the counting. And uh, it's been an exciting Passover. We had a great Seder. We had a uh, first one was our family one, and it wasn't a traditional at all. It was more of us sitting around uh, telling the story and eating matzah. And then the second night, we had a more formal uh, Seder, and we had people over, and great time. And uh, since then, we've been just doing, you know, uh, now today we started counting the Omer. We start today because there is the rabbinical way, which started the day after uh, unleavened bread. And we, we have no disagreements with any of them. Just our family does do the more of the Karite style of, of, of starting after the weekly Shabbos. So that's another thing, too, when you create your own home. Even at Utah, we are a union, and we do agree with the certain principles. But we have leeway also because we don't condemn the rabbinical and we don't condemn the Karite. Our family does what's best according to what we see interpret Torah, and we also will celebrate the, uh, you know, sh uh, Shavuot with the rabbinicals and with the Karaites because there's enough to go around. So this is our garden, and uh, just want to give you an update again, and we will do some more video series coming up on Shabbat. Stay tuned for the um, the baby goat birthing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that'll We're be great. Close. We We're getting, getting close. We're fixing to have through. a goat kid. So uh, that'll be coming up also. But uh, shalom and just want to give you an update of what's going on here. And we thank you for viewing our videos. www.utom.org. Shalom.